Hi Virgo, this is going to be your September 2018 Twin Flame, Soulmate and General Love Reading. If you'd like a private reading, all the information is in the description section of this video. You can shoot me an email if you are confused. I'm actually a Virgo Sun, so that's kind of cool. And also I'm actually born on the Virgo Libra cusp. So, you know, September is of course Virgo Libra. So I have a giveaway for this video, which is going to be at the end of this video. So just uh, keep watching if you are interested to, as in keep watching towards the end of the video. So we're going to be doing your reading, as I mentioned, yep, private reading, all in the description section. I think that's pretty much all I wanted to mention. Oh, and thank you for a thousand subscribers. Amazing. I haven't been doing this very long on this channel, but it's just wonderful to kind of have all of your support. And uh, yeah, so let's get started for the Virgo reading. Whether you are a Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, welcome. You can, uh, or even if you're a cross watcher watching for someone else, then um, all my videos of course are on my channel and you can uh, find them there. If you're interested in finding your sun, moon, rising, Venus, I'm pretty sure you know your sun sign, that's the main sign everyone goes by. For the other signs, you can of course just google them. I'm just taking a little water break very very quickly. Yeah, you can google them and uh, just put in your information and it will tell you your signs or your <laughs> significant other's signs as well. Ouch, Virgo. What's happening here? Four of Swords followed by the Five of Swords. Followed by the Four of Pentacles. It seems to me like you're really holding on to something really holding on to something because here it seems like no matter how how much someone could deceive you it's not in your nature to walk away instead you're just deciding to rest it out and do meditation and pray and just not battle but it's not like you're walking away from this person not yet anyways you're just sitting there almost hoarding this person sorry I know that sounds really bad but you know Virgos have a tendency to not give up on people so 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 quickly they try to give as many chances as they can and then when they really walk away they walk away but right now it seems like you're not you know you know that this person perhaps has not had the best intentions but you're still not exactly walking away see for some reason with this person here you see hope you see opportunity Sorry, loads and loads of cards just came out. We're not taking all of those, so I'm just going to keep shuffling. I hate when that happens, when like half of the deck just like decides to fall. <laughs> like, mm, no, can't have that many. This is fine. It seems to me also that you need to be able to, in a sense, heal, have hope and faith. It seems that this hope and faith that you have is not vain. This whole holding on to thing you've been doing, it's not just for nothing. I feel like something's going to come out of it and I do think that it's going to be this solid gold commitment. Because you have here the star card, which is the wish card. So yes, you want something, but I also think with this ace of pentacles, something is going to happen. But right now you're in this energy of wallowing and sadness and self-pity because you've got two fours here you got two fives as well, and it's this kind of going from four to five and four to five sort of energy where it's almost like it gets a little bit worse because here there's resting and recovering, but then someone, you know, this other person makes it worse by like deceiving you or doing something that you don't like. And here you're trying to hold on, but then it gets worse because you're worrying and in self-pity or, you know, that kind of state. It's almost like it you're doing the right, you know, you're doing something quite calm and then it just seems to all get a little bit worse. So let's see what else. The Seven of Pentacles has been coming out in a lot of readings. This is about you reflecting on things, you waiting, you analysing. It's quite a Virgo kind of thing. Seven and Seven. This is really about the fantasy of this all, the wish, you know, the holding on. Why are you holding on? I feel like you're seeing this relationship through rose-tinted glasses. You really want this commitment from this person. You're not giving up. You're not giving in. None of that. 
I do feel like it's going to come because the way that the Ace of Pentacles is lined up with the Wish card, it's almost like it's going to be granted. But I think you need to take a step back and kind of see things from a more reality perspective. Which, to be honest, I feel like you are because you've got the two sevens. This is more of like reality, grounded down to earth, whilst this is like emotional fantasies and seeing things to roast into glasses. So let's see what the third card is, just to like clarify all of that. Okay, we've got the world. It's a completion. So, overall, I do feel as though this person is going to come to you. Bottom of the deck, we actually have the three of wands which is you waiting for the ships to come in which to be honest yeah i pretty much see here you are waiting you're analyzing you're thinking i feel like they are going to offer you something and this cycle is going to get closed out you are quite balanced i feel in terms of like how you're thinking about this whole relationship you know not just to roast into glasses but actually seeing it in its kind of more earth element so I think that's kind of the energy for Virgo in September, which to be honest, you know, Virgo and Libra, Libra is very balanced. And so I can see why that balancing, you know, you've got two sevens, two fours, two fives, you know, balance. And especially with the wild card, you've also got, in many ways, <coughs> excuse me, you've also got, um, I'm just going to take a little water break quickly. We've also got here the star and the wish. And you're doing a lot of thinking and, here, and waiting and recover, like more like meditation, recovering, you know, those kinds of things, maybe even praying, which is more of a Virgo trait, but you're also doing a lot of balancing, which is quite a Libra trait. So it totally makes sense with the time and the season that this does happen. So my wonderful Virgos, that is your reading for September 2018. As I mentioned, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving away this greeting card that I made. It's a happy birthday card. You can give it to someone, you can keep it yourself. If you are interested in winning it, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. Can be anything. And then at the end of September, I'm gonna pick a winner and send this off to them. It's open worldwide. And it ends at the end of September, obviously. So um, yeah, that is going to be the giveaway. If this res reading resonated with you, let me know. Give me a thumbs up on the video. And my wonderful Virgos, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.